you didn't want to manually model a roof, we also have an automatic roof tool. That is this tool here. If we select that by left mouse clicking on it, and I'm just going to accept all the settings along here. I can hold the space bar down, the magic wand icon appears, and as I take it over the edge of the slab, we can see that it changes to a polygon. And while holding the space bar down, if I left mouse click on it, this palette comes up. Over here we can see that this roof is going to be one level, which I'll explain shortly, and it will run to a height of 20 meters, which I will also explain shortly. At the moment, the roof pitch is going to be 25 degrees, and the roof is going to be pitched at 2700 high. There are also numerous treatments of the ends of the roof. The roof thickness is 120, and the ease overhang is 450. I can change those to anything I like. And these settings override the settings that reside here at the moment. So if I push OK, there's my roof. This procedure will also work on more complex roofs. So if I hold the spacebar down again and I uh, left mouse click while I'm on the roof tool, the same palette comes up. This time I might change to a meter eaves. And there it is there. This technique will also work with more unconventional shapes, such as curves. Just wind that back to 300 this time. Change the roof pitch to 35. Push OK. So there's my roof there. So if I go to the 3D window, pushing F4 on the Mac and F5 on the PC, we can see all our roofs there. and the slabs are traced and of course these roofs are editable in this window just the same as they are in the 2D window the other nice thing about the automatic roof tool is that if I go back to the floor plan we can also draw roofs freehand so if I left mouse click on the roof tool again make sure I've got the automatic roof tool selected I can just click virtually any shape I want to. And when you complete the polygon, you can create the 3D roof. So it's a very flexible tool, and sure it'll save you a lot of time. Now if we go back to the floor plan, we'll expand on the automatic roof tool. A couple of things I said I'll explain later, so make sure I'm on the roof tool. Make sure I've got that icon selected, hold the space bar down, left mouse click, and up comes this palette. Now we can see we've got two levels highlighted, so I'm going to make this roof have two levels. So at the moment, the first level will be going from the pitching height, which is 3 metres, to 3.9. And that distance, that 900 in height there, will be at 15 degrees. Then from 3,900, for the next 20 metres, it'll be 25 degrees. The 20 meters there is just a figure that we give so that we can be certain that this part of the roof has enough height to create a ridge. For example, if I knock that down to 200, I'm just going to delete the overhang and push OK. We can see if I go to the 3D window that it's been chopped off there. If that was 20 meters, which I'm just going to control Z and undo it. put 20 meters in there we can see that it's given the roof the ability to create a ridge so that's basically how you create a simple bell cast roof if I go to the elevation window we can see our bell cast roof so I'm just going to go back to the floor plan and make it a bit more complex than that just going to go control A or Apple A backspace or delete and then this time um, clicking on the automatic roof tool this time I'm going to give it all four levels and I'm going to change this height to 500 leave that at 500 and leave that at 2500 so it's going to go 15 degrees and 25 degrees for 500 45 degrees for 500 millimeters and 
the top of it which is we're going to allow it to go to a ridge at 10 degrees so if I push OK you can see there's our roof there an easy way to create your regular Kentucky Fried Chicken roof if you got all the dimensions right and see all the different facets of the roof there so once again automatic roof tools very flexible and this still work drawing freelance building so if I move that off I can still draw awkward shapes and create those roofs very simply.